From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Tuesday, March 24th, 2015. In the news, Alaska State Troopers have confirmed a 12-year-old boy from Two Rivers died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The boy had been on a snow machining trip near Chandler Lake. Troopers were notified of his death on Friday but had to wait a day to retrieve the body due to weather conditions. The body will be sent to Anchorage for an autopsy by the state medical examiner. The name of the boy has not been released but next of kin have been notified. United States Senator Dan Sullivan addressed a joint session of the Alaska Legislature yesterday in Juneau. A freshman senator from Alaska gave an update on his first two and a half months in office. Sullivan spoke of efforts to, quote, disarm the Environmental Protection Agency, as well as lauding state lawmakers for their fight against federal overreach, specifically regarding ANWR. Citing Russia's military buildup in the Arctic, Sullivan also spoke against removing upwards of 10,000 troops from Alaska. And trial began yesterday in U.S. US District Court for a Fairbanks man who was allegedly part of a drug conspiracy that spanned three states. Etienne DeVoe has been in custody along with eight other members of the operation. The group reportedly operated between Fairbanks and Anchorage, down to Seattle, and also in parts of Florida. One co-defendant, Stephen Taylor, already pleaded guilty to two counts. Another Fairbanks man, Gabriel Haynes, was sentenced to serve 18 months in prison for his part. DeVoe's trial is being held in Anchorage. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today mostly sunny with highs in the 30s. Tonight mostly clear, lows 5 to 20 depending on your elevation. And tomorrow sunny with highs in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Extended forecast, pretty good, mostly cloudy most of the week with highs in the 40s through Monday. Air index is good in Fairbanks, moderate in North Pole, and the Aurora forecast is moderate. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. Don't forget you can sign up for our breaking news text alerts by texting the word breaking to 33733. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day.